the Port de Saint on their way from the 1600 meter marker. Brave and bold and reactive, the first two to go. The poet Cypher, then Royer second, the orange cap is near the rail. As they move down towards the 1200 meter region, reactive is the leader. Brave and bold a little bit strong on the left with the yellow cap and Cypher's the pink cap. They are followed by Missy Barbo, the Red Blinkers. Then Roy is second. Royal Agree and the Poet, they the last two. About six lengths top to tail. Cypher shows the way. Reactive is second. Brave and Bold's at the rail. Royal Agree now just sneaks into that. It's Missy Barbo that sneaks into the third place. In fourth is Brave and Bold. Then Roy is second. And on the outside, the Poet's got about five lengths to make up. And they're in Royal Agree. Cypher's bringing towards the 700 meter region. In second, reactive. On the outside is Missy Barber and Brave and Bold. Then Roy is second and the Poet. And Royal agrees about seven lengths off the lead. 500 to go, Cypher. Brave and Bold, reactive. Missy Barber's on the outside. The Poet gets hooked out to the middle of the track. Reactive, meanwhile, hits the front with Cypher. These are the two. The Poet's running on from behind. And it's Reactive who's gone into the lead past the 200. Cypher and the Poet. But Reactive is still going. Reactive from Cypher over the last 100. The Poet's trying to get into the race late. But Reactive's going on. He has Royal Agree taking off from behind. Reactive won it, though. Reactive won it. Second, the Poet. Third, Cypher and Royal Agree. Number five, Reactive. The Bankable, Tony Rivelin, Dr. Lamberta, rewarded for consistency. And this one is victorious. Win number two from 17 for Reactive. And they hit the front. They were always prominent. And they go on to score and score by about, well, we'll see how many lengths at the line. But a good victory here for Reactive. And Reactive comes good. The four-year-old son of Bankable, bred by Summerhill Stud. They win it about two and a half to three. The Poet will just get second. That was the Toad favourite. Third to Cypher, then Royal Agree. As we continue to run it. The Toad favourite was number four, the Poet. Number five, Reactive, paid up at 4.50 the win. We'll take a look at that head-on shortly. Here's Reactive with the white nose band. Two off the left hand side, stick in the right hand, and reactive continues to go. Stick gets put away and then gets changed to the left hand from Cypher, and the poet is staying on. So was Royal Agree towards the outside. But number five, reactive at 450. Next up, start of the PA, back to the studio. Well, it's leg three of the KZN uh, Breeders Series, leveling the playing fields. It's what's been bold, and of course, it's a, a draw for jockeys and a, a chance for Dr. Lambetta on a horse that had uh, the form to win, and he certainly delivered in a smart way. Yeah, uh, Tony Rivelin, Mrs. Mary Liley. Uh, Tony, firstly, you know the series. Uh, it's something different. Yeah, it's something different. Um, gives everybody a chance across a, a range of horses and, and jockeys. Um, obviously, sometimes, you know, we pulled Doc. I haven't seen him around at work much, so I was a bit worried. He had a bright future when he was a youngster in Appy, and um, I was more worried about Doc's fitness than Reactive's fitness. Um, <laughs> but in his defense, I tell you, he rode a great race. His instructions were to go to the front. He's a big striding horse and make his own pace, but obviously not to cut throats with anything. And then um, Keegan went around on Garth's horse. I was a little bit nervous because I didn't want him to slow it up too, too much because I think this horse will actually get 10 furlong mm. on his ear, you know. Um, and this is the first, the series obviously started with the 1200 in which he, we went into the first box and we actually ran second. Yes. Last time he was hanging with Moosey, he was a bit unlucky and I knew over a mile this would be his right trip and next time we go back to a seven furlong. So um, we'll have to keep him fresh for that race. Because points on the board. Points. No, no, he's right up there in the points game. I see what a poet ran second, but he's behind him. So, yeah, it's a, it's a nice series to win for the owners. You know, the bonus is what we, we're all chasing and the, st the, the, the stakes for these races are nice and high. Well done to Summerhill. Um, the girls at Summerhill, I think they bred him. 
And um, it's been a nice horse to own. He's always in the money. Obviously, well done to Mary Lally. Well, back, well done to the team. Well, we wish you the best with the horse in the, in the final leg. One more runner left, Tony. Uh, Vain Calder. Yeah, Dee's um, lovely horse. Hasn't lived up to expectation the last two runs. I put blinkers on him, and he galloped very well with them. But he's drawn very wide, and I definitely want to give him a chance. That's the way he won his maiden. Um, albeit over distance, I thought was a bit short of his best. So we'll sit him in today, and hopefully they go quick enough. And um, he's got a good ride on his back. Warren's a great jock. And we'll see how good he is today. Thanks for that feedback, Tony. Well done to your team here. Yeah. Thank you, Dees. Well done. Let's get Dr. Lambete in. And uh, Doctor, firstly, well done. You, you picked up a, a very nice ride in the series. Uh, so well done with uh, the luck, firstly, on getting a good horse, and secondly, bringing him home. Yes, um, you know what? Um, I just want to say thanks to Mr. Revelyn, the owner, and you know what, um, thanks to Mandla and um, Warren Kennedy. They told me all about the horse, and all I had to do was just do what they said and steer the horse home, and the horse won a pretty much a good race, you know. It's, it's tough out there, but you, you, you know, this race has come for you, and Tony mentioning what a good ride as well. Yes, um, you know what, in order to have a good ride, you need a ride. You need a horse. So, yes, you need a ride and a race. Um, but anyways, with all that said, I um, just want to say thank you for the ride for today. Um, and I just, I would like to dedicate this winner to my daughter, Chloe. Oh, well done, doctor. Nice ride. Right, thank you. Lovely. Dr. Lembetti, let's get Mrs. Liley in, one of our favorite ladies on the turf here in KZN. Mrs. Liley, always nice having a winner whenever, but on, on a big race day, uh, a it's, bit more special. It's lovely to win. We've been unlucky the last couple of times, um, but today he got it right, thanks to the doctor. Yes. <laughs> the doctor brought him home, and thanks to Tony. And uh, I always wanted a bankable, you see, yes. so um, Summerhill had bred him, and so thanks to Mickey. And um, I thought he might be something eventually. So we're getting there. We're getting there. It's taken, Hopefully. It's <laughs> taken him a bit of time, but, but the fact is he's got good points in the series, Mr. Lyle. Yes, you could actually has. win it. Yes, he has got good points. And winning, winning is always important. <laughs> anyway, it's lovely. <laughs> well, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. And well done with this win, Mr. Slyly. Thanks. And well done, Mickey. <laughs> well done, Mickey. Goes to bread him. Mrs. Mary Liley, the proud owner, and of course, Tony Rivlin, the trainer. Dr. Lambete has put the points on the board for the Rivlin Yard on number five, Reactor. Five, four, seven, and two. That's the way they cross the line. Race number two coming up next will be the start of the place accumulator. It's sure to be a bumper pool this afternoon. It is race number three at 12.55, which is five to one.